Alright guys, uh, this is the rough green snake, and uh, found him down here at the river, and they're commonly found uh, in foliage, like in trees, shrubs, anything green, because, you know, that's their natural camouflage, and uh, I had a lot of tips, you know, people told me to go around, you know, looking like in uh, stuff like that, like around uh, any kind of body of water, and naturally we that's where we found him, was around a lot of water. And uh, he's a really pretty snake. This is actually a pretty nice size one, as you can see. And they're made for climbing. Like, watch it. Look at that. Just straight up. He's quick, too. He's pretty agile. And um, they're real docile. Uh, they will bite sometimes, though. But uh, this one hasn't bit yet. He uh, opened his mouth a little bit, I guess just as a threat. But, uh, and they also, one thing's really cool about them that I like is... Uh, if you hold them real still, a lot of times they'll, uh, they'll start swaying back and forth. And uh, that's what they do when they're on the branches. And it, a lot of the times it'll look like just the branches or grass or whatever moving around, you know, because they're so camouflaged. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, this is the number one snake that we've been looking for for a long time. And yeah, I was real happy about this for sure. I just sometimes I get a little too excited. This one, this was a nice snake, so let's take a closer look on here. As you can see, and uh, I'm guessing they're called the rough green snake because, unlike the smooth green snake, they uh, they have killed scales. He's got a little slender head and uh, really hard to spot. My dad, uh, like bought me a, a new light and uh, it came in handy for sure because I put it on that high beam and it uh. I spotted him as soon as I went over there and saw it. And apparently their skin sort of reflects light. And, uh, but a lot of people don't see him at night. But uh, this, And he was moving around. That was one thing that was uh, sort of surprising because uh, these are supposed to be diurnal. And, you know, he was actually moving around. Unless it could have been my light that scared him, but I doubt it. You know, if he was asleep, usually they're not going to move. But he was moving around. And, uh, yeah really pretty little snake and, um, he's got a cool looking little belly it's a sort of a whitish color but it uh, fades into a creamyish like yellowish green look and uh, as it gets to the tip of the tail it gets a little more yellow green yeah this is a very very pretty little snake he's cool looking But, uh, yeah, I didn't expect to see this tonight. Um, we've been having a lot of luck at this river lately. Uh, you know, we saw the musk turtle, king snake. All, we always see water snakes every time. And, um, but yeah, after we get done with this, uh, we're going to see if, uh, see if uh, Amber and Jacob can get some water snakes. So hopefully we'll have some luck on that too. They, we've already seen a good bit of those. But uh, yeah, this snake's really pretty. So uh, I guess what we're going to do is uh, we've already got some good photos. So And uh, we're going to, I guess, release him back on his branch. So he can uh, go to doing what he's doing, and uh, hopefully, you know, in the future we'll find a lot more of these guys. So uh, this was a uh, yeah, this is something else. And I'm gonna give him a kiss before he goes. But you were always on my mind. You were always. See y'all when we release him. Good filming. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna release him back on the branch uh, where we found him. So let's uh, watch him climb on up here. Okay, you ready? Close the branch. <laughs> 